G'day, this is Captain Uben. Did somebody say Big Iron? This here is a Colt Single Action Army Revolver. It has appeared in many Fallout games, including Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 76, but this weapon is fairly unique in the fact that its animations are basically all crazy all over the place. You'll be spinning around your finger like a fidget spinner as you sprint. You'll be throwing it around with some of the crazier animations. Look, you have to see it to believe it because it's pretty crazy. We'll get to that as we get to that. There's a little bit of customization here, not actually too much, and the first thing is actually the variance of animation we use, and all of the subsequent ranks of this will just give us more crazy animations at an increased cost to gun nut, so we'll have this one at variant 3, and you can change this thing's sound, so if you wanted to make it sound like it's shooting in a field, or a forest, or a desert, or snowy places, or urban, you can change it and it'll alter the sound ever so slightly, just using some sound keywords there, it's pretty neat. And you can change the material to an ivory grip with a polished everything else to a more contemporary, law-friendly, I guess, looking thing where it's a little bit uh, rough around the edges here. The old girl needs a little bit of a cleaning, I think. But we're going to leave this at peacekeeper form right now. And you've got damage levels, which we're going to crank to level 4 because, well, we're playing on very hard difficulty. We're already getting 50% of our damage taken away from us. So we're going to be countering that a little bit with this. And it requires gun nut rank 3, so I consider this to be as legit as changing the receivers. So I'm going to create a couple more peacekeepers so we can do the other animations that'll play. And we'll get started. Alright, since there were barely any attachments and I've got a little bit of time on my hands, I'm going to show you all of the animation sets. So, hotkeyed to 1, 2, and 3 uh, animation set 1, 2, and 3, and this is the equip animations for each of them. So, that's number 1, number 2, and number 3 again, and that's good. All of the bashing animation is just this little jab here. Although, it should be mentioned that it, when you bash, you'll go back and flip the revolver around and do the normal equip thing. So, I guess the fastest way to bash is using animation variant number one. So, firing this thing, if you hip fire it, you'll actually smash the hammer down with your hand. And then, during the reload, you'll actually operate the push rod real fast and smash the rounds in as fast as you possibly can like that. It's good stuff. And with it, you can actually achieve a pretty good rate of fire. When you use this thing aiming down sights, you'll just have one hand on it. And then you shoot it, and then you'll immediately just pull the hammer back just with the one hand. And your thumb moves fast enough to maintain that kind of rate of fire. Iris has got skills, but this is only the tip of the iceberg at this point because there's sprinting animation. So we're going to do a few laps around this sail barge. And you can actually see what they are. So that's just the standard number one. So there's nothing really going on there. If we switch to number two, we're about to go into fidget spinner mode here. Here we go. So that's just a standard spin. Another spin. And a throw around. And then bang, bang, bang. Alright. And that's pretty much all of them. But there needs to be more added. So variant three, we'll have a couple more laps. And then here we go. Full fidget spinner mode here. Yeah, it's on the other hand now. And there's even more. Do the finger bang in a second. Uh, don't take that one out of context. And there it is. Alright, I think we've seen all of them. I think that is it reset now. So, yep. That's what the animations contain. Although I should probably mention how it's got third person animations as well. You're going to pull that hammer back anytime soon, Iris, or you're just going to sort of look at it like that. There's the reload animation. Another thing I should mention about the reload is you'll have a shorter reload, but it'll always reload in three cartridges no matter what. And for a longer reload, if we fire four bullets, we'll pop this in. One, two, three. Okay, so maybe it's an empty reload. We'll only ever reload more than three cartridges. One, two, three. Okay, well that's good to know. A, a tactical reload will always be a shorter reload. Is it? It actually might be using tactical reload here. That's probably why it only reloads three all the time. <laughs> maybe the motor expects you just to be 
firing three rounds off all the time. Looks like a full reload, however, in third person. Alright, I think we're done here. The only way to get this weapon is using console commands. Sorry to disappoint you. Alright, we're in Gunners Plaza now, and probably the standard way of using revolvers is probably what we're going to be doing. That's not very good bat accuracy. Oh, well, let me check something. Okay, this thing only has a range of 89. That's awful, and that means we're going to be have- You're gonna have to be really close to actually make this thing work in that, so maybe that's not the way to go. But what you'll also find is that this thing won't do much damage at range, so we're kind of locked into almost shotgun distance firing. And you know what? I've got three revolvers, so I intend to use them all. Take that. And this as well. They make Gunner Brigadiers tough. They take many 44 Magnums to the head. Managed to get a pistol whip on that guy. Saves us from a reload, but we have to do that now. So just give me a minute, Gunner. I'll be with you in a moment. Oh, you're just a conscript. Well, I'm going to pistol whip you as well. Take that. All right, that's good then. That one's dead. And now we'll take out the turrets. There we go. I feel like even from there, we're starting to see a little bit of the damage drop off. And that turret is alerted to me. 44 damage from all the way back here. Although those latter three shots, I think we actually took hit him on the barrel there, which I think is equivalent to the head, giving me slightly extra damage. And you know what? I'm going to reload a couple more of my revolvers before I jump down here. All right, we're done. Let's hit it. Run up to them and fan that there hammer. Hey, did you just ripping me on my crotch? That's weird, man. Don't do that. And now is not the time for fidget spinning, Iris. you got to punch him instead. There we go. All right, so we've got a little bit of time on our hands now as we sneak into this next room. Hopefully, we'll go back into caution so we'll get a, a bash uh, kill that is of the stealth variety on this guy. Um, there's actually an animation where you'll sort of hit them on the back of the head with the pistol and it usually kills them instantly. We'll see how we go. Nope, didn't work. We'll just punch him in the dick instead. You know what? If they're going to do these low blows below the belt, so am I. Got him in the nuts. Critical strike. He is down for the count. Hold on. You have brought your fists to a revolver fight, which would have worked if I had have fired more than six shots and you would have still been alive, so he wasn't too far off. And now, there's a whole gunner army for me to kill, and, uh, well, honestly, there's not enough crits in the day, so we'll reload this thing one more time. We'll go to point-blank range, and we're going to start spamming criticals everywhere. One, two for you. One, two for you. We've even got the Mysterious Stranger showing up. I don't know which one he's actually going to be firing at. Probably should have used the crit first, but you wouldn't have died regardless, so that's fine. Now we can use a crit here, and a couple of follow-up shots, maybe. Don't you bloody dare, Stimpak. You... There we go. Now, is a Mysterious Stranger going to finish this, or what? No, he's not. Utterly useless. We'll go for an unnecessary crit here. But, managed to get our uh, crit back thanks to Grim Reaper Sprint. So, we'll take out this guy. Four leaf clover proc, which means we get yet another critical and another Grim Reaper sprint. Let's keep going. Crit here. And a crit on that other... Hang on. We didn't actually kill that first thing. I can't believe that. Man, even the turrets are being... I mean, this thing... I can't even take turrets in one shot. That's, that's not a good sign. Anyways, we'll keep going. That guy was about to throw a grenade. That might have been a flashbang. Poor Iris. She's copped it today. She's covered in blood. Not, it's not nice. Anyways, we'll shoot this one. You're going to be dousing your own blood soon. Let's let's whip out this one. Fully loaded. There we go. Nice little spam fire into your face there. Take you out. Got a lucky proc there from Scrounger. He's suppressing fire. Doesn't know where I am. Snuck around the corner and we're going to go for a pistol whip kill here. Never mind. We, we got lucky thanks to <laughs> Ricochet there. And hopefully we can go back into caution here. You know what? Whilst we're losing our sense of danger here, may as well reload all of these, right? I really hope I completed the reload animation on that one. I believe when the six actually activates, there you go, that's when the weapon is actually reloaded. So you get a couple of frames where you can switch if you don't feel like actually going through the whole animation. There we 
you go. And number three. Probably won't have enough for both of these, so... No, we certainly won't. I'm going to go for a critical here. Take this. Never mind, I've got no criticals. Well, may as well reload in vats. If we haven't had a look at that reload animation already, it's kind of off on the camera, off to the sort of thing. Up to the corner. That's what I meant. And I guess we'll just uh, shoot you in vats a little bit. Oh, what? Well, I'm gonna wall hack now. We'll be seeing you later. And now, that's probably Nerd Rage. No time to get angry now. Actually, probably is time. That reload is enough to drive you bloody mad, I'll tell you that much. Doesn't help when you do all this fidget spinning. Look, it's your own fault the reload animations are so slow. Although I really can't complain because even despite all of the flashiness and everything, it's still faster than the Fallout 76 reload. Oh, man. All right, so uh, we're going to get go have a shower, maybe clean off all this blood. It's, it's the gunner's blood all over me. We're fine. See, it's gone already. It's all good. So I was going to be fighting a giant monster with this thing, but there's actually no legendary effect to allow it to be um, furious. I was going to just use stacking of furious to kill a thing really fast. Also, it works with classic holstered weapons. you got a big iron on your hip, Iris. Good for you. But in terms of its performance, it doesn't really do it for me. Sure, the gimmicky animation stuff is all very fun and great, but in terms of what it adds to the gameplay, there's not really a lot it does a lot better than what any other vanilla weapon can do. So that should be kept in mind if you're looking for this thing for a little bit more for a performance sort of thing. And that's just kind of the thing with revolvers, because there hasn't been a revolver mod that I've really rated, and I think that might just be because of the difficulty and the low rate of fire and the low ammo capacity of said weapons. It sort of gets screwed over here, but in a game like New Vegas, using a revolver is fine, but everything's just a little bit too spongy for use of revolvers in a game like Fallout 4. Maybe there should be mods to get that fixed. I'm guessing if you're using the uh, proper damage um, things where it's like increased damage for headshots and just reworks the whole health system to make headshots lethal no matter what, this will be one to use. But on standard Fallout, Fallout 4 rules, about to say Fallout 76. No, but Fallout 76, this thing sucks as well, but it's a different weapon entirely. But standard Fallout 4 rules doesn't really do it for me. Couldn't recommend it for performance, but if you want some cool, janky animations as you're running around with a revolver, I couldn't recommend this thing anything anymore because it's just a cool mod. I quite like it. There's there's a lot more value here than just a performance based off, obviously. So there is some good to be had here. Recommend it. Link in the description. Thank you very much for watching, guys.